This isn't open to the public very often. It's difficult stairs and it's dark. You wouldn't know it was here when you go past in the street. Heritage Open Days is about getting to see things where you live, where you visit, that you could never normally see. So we've got private houses, we've got places of business, churches and cathedrals. It's four days of free things to see and do for everybody all over England. Their mother's gone out for breakfast with her girlfriend and someone mentioned there was some peeling going on and Poppy has always wanted to do that. go in a big group, you can get all your friends together and explore, you can take your whole family, you can take the children, you can go to loads of events because you don't have to worry about money, everything's free. But it's not just about the architecture, it's about the people who've lived in those buildings, the stories. I was chairman of uh, General Printing for about 25 years. I'd started in printing in 1956. It is a special day. We can show students and others how printing has changed in the last 50, 60, 70 years. It's great that we still have projects like this and the idea that there's this whole aspect of our country that is normally shut off and for one weekend we can go and have an explore of these wonderful places is brilliant. The main thing of the African Community Association is to encourage integration. On this one day, we met the objective of our association, which is bringing people together. Heritage Open Days is a brilliant end to the summer holidays. It's the second weekend in September. It's the first week the kids are back at school. The weather's often brilliant. It's a huge festival of buildings and places and people, and you will always find something fascinating to see. It's here, it's happening, come and explore.